Hey Taurus, it's time for y'all love reading. I just uploaded Aries, so yours is next. I'm gonna do the readings in order. So you're next, Taurus. I'm gonna just shuffle this deck real quick. I'll be using the Oracle deck from um, from my website that I created, the Mass Feelings Oracle COVID-19 edition. I'll be using that. It's available to purchase on my website. The link is in the description box. Now, if you want to book your personal readings, you can also book that in the description box as well. If you'd like to buy some healing crystals, you'll be able to purchase that as well. And on Monday, I will be um, I will be putting up more of my inventory. So I still have more things coming, y'all. I still have more things coming. I still have more things to upload. So yeah, more to come. More to come. Okay, so, Taurus, we're going to see what's going on in your love connection. What's going on in your love life? What's going on in Taurus love life? Too many cards came out. Alrighty, what's going on in Taurus love life? Okay, well, even though I asked what's going on in your love life, I see that you're working on yourself. I see that you're working on yourself, um, giving yourself self-love or working on a business of yours or um, working on your finances. You may not even be worried about love for real, but we'll see as I continue. But I definitely see that you're mostly focused on yourself and giving yourself self-love. Okay, so we're going to see how your person feels about you, how you feel about your person, the outcome, and what you two want to say to each other that you just don't feel comfortable sharing. So... How does your person currently feel about you? Okay. How does your person feel about you? They sort of see you as a breadwinner, honestly. They see you as, yeah. They see you as a breadwinner. They're stressing over you, though. I feel like you may not even be giving them the time of day. <laughs> I feel like you may not even be giving your person the time of day, and that has them stressing. They see you as someone who's a breadwinner, someone who's very goal or money oriented and they see you like they're stressing over that not over that but over the fact that you don't you're not really making time for them all righty how else does Taurus person feel about the Taurus? <laughs> that's cute okay So, Taurus, your person still still loves you. Besides that, regardless of the fact that you're not really making time for them or they feel as if you're not making time for them, they still love you, but they do feel you leaving them behind. They do feel that you are leaving them behind. Um, once again, this is the Mass Feelings Oracle that I created, COVID-19 edition. So, you know, it's hospital slash COVID related. But your person feels like you're leaving them behind. They they feel it. I told you. They feel like you're not really making time for them. And that has them stressing. But they feel that you're leaving them behind. And they don't want that. They don't want to be apart. They don't... For the ones that's already separated, they don't want to be apart anymore. Um, like, your person don't... They don't want you going anywhere, Taurus. Truthfully. They do not. Okay. How does Taurus feel about their person? Clarification on the Two of Pentacles. Clarification on the Two of Pentacles. Clarification on the Two of Pentacles. Hmm. One more card. Clarification. Clarification on the Two of Pentacles. It could be dealing with the Leo. The Sun card came out. Honestly, I see that you're indecisive on, for one, how to budget your time between you and your person. Or, oh wow, that was more cards. Okay, okay. So yeah, okay, no. So yeah, I see that you are confused on how to budget your time um, or balance your time between you and your person. Like, I see that you're very, like, like you're you're focused on your money you're money driven like that's all that's on your mind right now it's like tunnel vision so you're trying to figure out how to balance it 
You're trying to feel like, figure out how to balance it. Most definitely. You could be dealing with the Leo. The Sun card came out. I see that your person, your person makes you happy. You do enjoy being with your person. But you're trying to figure out how to balance it. And I see that you're also trying to figure out how to show them that you care or show them that you love them. With the Ace of Cups, I see that you're trying to figure out how to make that grand gesture of, okay, well, I love you and I'm going to show it. This is how I'm going to show it. Like, I see that you're just indecisive in general. But I definitely see that more than anything, you're focused on your money. And your person knows that, but they're feeling some type of way about that. How else does Taurus feel about their person? How else does Taurus feel about their person? Alrighty, three cards came out already. We were bad for each other. You feel like at times you two are bad for each other. At times things are toxic. And maybe that's why you're focused on your money. Because it's like, okay, well, if this doesn't work out, at least I have my money. At least I have my job. At least I have my business. At least I have something with meaning or purpose um, if we end up not working out. I wish I had treated you better. Your person, you're wishing that. See, you, hold up. Because I know I'm, I, was, I said it in past tense. But you know that you want to treat your person better. Like I said with the Ace of Cups, you know that you do. You know that you do. And you want to tell them how you feel. You want to tell your person how you feel, which I think you should because your person is sort of feeling like they're on the back burner. Regarding your finances, you and your finances, they feel like they are completely on the back burner. And like I said, it has them stressing. It has them stressing and feeling some type of way. So what is the outcome? What is the outcome? One more card. What is the outcome? One more card. Okay. The outcome, I see that you two are going to work on things. You two are going to make sure y'all rekindle the relationship. I see that some of the passion is dwindling now. But in the future, y'all are going to work on reigniting that passion, reigniting those feelings. Um, it could be you, Taurus, the one that's going to put in the effort to reignite everything and all that. Um, with the Queen of Cups, someone here is going to make some type of grand gesture. Like I said, I feel like it's, well, not grand gesture, but I see that someone here is going to be very affectionate and nurturing and loving. They're going to be definitely showing their divine feminine side. I feel like it's going to be you, Taurus, considering the fact that you're not really showing that. Um, I could be wrong though, but yeah. Now let me get clarification on the Queen of Swords reverse. Clarification. Someone here is going to have a lot to say, but they won't share it because they're afraid of coming off harsh or coming off mean. They're afraid of coming off... Um, they're afraid of what they're what they'll say is gonna come off wrong so it's like they're gonna keep it to their self which whether cross watcher is you or taurus is you i feel like that's a bad idea definitely share what you feel needs to be said because if you let it bottle up you know it's just it's, it's gonna come out but it's gonna come out in the worst way so it's like you're trying to avoid it coming out in the worst way but if you bottle it up it's gonna come out in the worst way so what is it that taurus and their person want to say to each other that they just don't feel comfortable sharing. Oops. One card fell. I'm gonna pick that up in a minute. Alrighty. Hmm. Okay, Taurus. I don't know what to do next. I feel like this is how your person feels. You can see the different um I can't even find the word for it, but <laughs> street signs but your person this is definitely your person they don't know what to do next they don't know if they should you know share their feelings with you make it be known how they're feeling um they they just don't know what to do next it's like they don't want to say or do the wrong thing to upset you i look for you everywhere i tend to i feel like your person tends to look for you everywhere it's like i feel more so on social media like i said it, it looks like you're working a lot a lot towards and it's like your person it seems like they're trying to look for you on social media like okay is my Taurus online right now why isn't my Taurus replying back are they online have they posted anything yet are they active on their facebook or their instagram like i see that your person is looking for you like why haven't they replied what's going on are they on like your person is looking for you now i'll drown out i drown out the pain by working i see that I feel the most this is your card Taurus you're drowning you're drowning out some type of pain 
by picking up extra shifts or picking up another job it's like you're going through something and you're trying to not forget about it. yeah forget about it but also not really feel the pain from it by working like it's like you're trying to keep busy so you don't feel overwhelmed or feel hurt or feel stressed and i feel that you should share that with your person even if it's due to something that happened in the connection definitely let your person know like look this is why i'm working so much because i'm hurting and whatever whatever but i'm gonna pull out some charms for y'all i'm gonna try something new i just picked them up i only have a few okay so we got what an oval i don't even know what the hell an oval means but I'm gonna use my intuition. We got an oval and then a dragonfly. This could be considered a leaf as well. I feel like soon enough things are gonna change between y'all for the better. I feel like things are gonna are gonna change and transform into the better. Dragonfly represents transformation and this leaf, the leaf to me right now, what I'm feeling is that it's representing you know a transformation as well like you know when the leaves change when the leaves fall when the leaves grow the different seasons it changes the leaves change i see that y'all are gonna change things are gonna change in the connection but it's only a matter of who's gonna make it change who's gonna help put in the effort to make the change so taurus if you want to make things work with your person definitely let them know definitely share it with them definitely let them know what's going on and why you're working so much or why it seems like you're not really giving them the time of day so they're not stressing too much over the fact that they're not really getting attention from you but i hope you guys enjoyed this reading make sure i like this video make sure y'all subscribe once again you can book your readings in the link in the description box which is my website you can buy this oracle deck right here that I created um, through that link and you can also buy some healing crystals through that link so make sure y'all check that out but thank you for watching you guys and yeah bye